So guys, this is a second video in this tutorial series. In the first video, we have seen how to get API keys from Shopify. And in this video, we are going to see how we can use those API keys to fetch products from Shopify in your JavaScript and Node.js application. So this is going to be a very interesting video. Stay tuned until the end. Subscribe to the channel. Now let's go to the Visual Studio Code and start coding. So guys, I'm here in Visual Studio Code. I have a new folder open here. Before we jump to Shopify API, I'm just going to set up a new JavaScript project in this folder. So here in the terminal, I'm just going to run a command npm in it to initialize a new project in this folder. And we can just keep everything to default and press enter. So this is going to initialize this folder with package.json. And in this folder, we are going to create another file that is going to be a root file server.js. And that's where we are going to be writing our JavaScript code. We are also going to be using some packages in this application. So I'm just going to install two packages here. One of them is going to be Nodemon. Nodemon is something we are going to use to start this application. And we are also going to be using .env package in this. And this is something we are going to use to read environment variables from .env file. So I've installed these two packages and here in the folder, I'm just going to create another file that is going to be .env. So we have created two files here and we have installed two packages. Now let's go to package.json and here in the dependencies, we should be able to see two packages that we have installed. So here under the scripts, I'm just going to add a start script, which is going to be nodemon server.js. And let's add another key here that is type of this application is going to be module. So that's all the changes we are going to need in package.json here in server.js. Now we can start our application by running a command npm start. To see if everything is working fine, I'm just going to say console log hello world. So we can see this in our console. That means all the application setup is running fine. Now we can start exploring Shopify API and try to fetch products from Shopify into this application. Now let's go to the browser and have a look at Shopify API documentation before we start writing any code that is related to Shopify API. So guys here in the browser, I'm just going to search for Shopify admin API. So this is going to take us to the Shopify admin API documentation. So I'm just going to click on the first link here. And that's the API we are going to be using to fetch products from Shopify. So here in the documentation, they have provided a code for the different programming languages. And here in this documentation, if you scroll this nav bar a little bit, you will be able to find the products section. And here under the products, they have a different kinds of API. And we are going to focus on the product API. So that's all the endpoints that are available in the products API. We can fetch the products or we can fetch the products by using this get endpoint, which is going to return a list of products. And there are some other APIs which are used to fetch a single product by its product ID. Or if we want to know just the count of the product, this is going to return the count of the products in Shopify. So in this video, we are going to be using this get endpoint and we will try to fetch the list of products which are available in Shopify. So I'm going to leave a link to this documentation in the description. You can read more into this documentation. It's, it's a very comprehensive documentation where you will find all the fields and the parameters that are available in Shopify. Before we start making calls to this endpoint, let's go to the Let's go to Shopify store and see what kind of products are there in our Shopify store. So guys, here I am in my Shopify store. And if I go to the products section, I'll be able to see all the sample products that I have created for this tutorial. So we are going to try and fetch a list of all these products from Shopify. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and try to make a call to Shopify API to fetch all these products. So guys, I'm back to my application here. Before we make a API call to Shopify, we need to save our access token that we created in Shopify in our last video into our .env file. So in this .env file, I'm just going to create a new variable that is going to be Shopify admin access token. And that's where I'm going to place the token that we have created in Shopify. I'm not going to share my token in this video. So I'm just going to place my token here. You can go and create the token in Shopify and place it here. And if you haven't seen the previous video, I recommend you see the first video in this playlist which will guide you how to create an access token. So I'm just going to place my token here and close this file and I'm not going to share it in this video. So guys, I've placed my token in .env file. To be able to access the token here in server.js, I'm just going to import my .env module that we have already installed. So I'm just going to import .env from .env. And here we are just going to write something like .env.config. So this is going to help us access the token that I've saved in .env file. And we are going to be using that token to make API calls 
in this file so i'm just going to create another variable here that is token and this is going to be process dot env dot shopify admin access token so this token is going to be coming from dot env file here and that's the token we are going to use to make all the api calls to shopify so here i'm just going to create a new function that's a basic javascript function which is going to be fetch shopify products and as of now we can leave this function blank here and here at the bottom i'm just going to call my function fetch shopify products so guys that's where we are going to be writing all the logic to make a api call to shopify and we are going to try and return a list of products from shopify here so here in this function i'm just going to copy a basic syntax that we use to make api calls from javascript so here i've just written a basic logic here i'm using a fetch request and we are going to be fetching some url that we are going to decide shortly which url we should be fetching based on the documentation of shopify and we are going to be making a request to the get endpoint as we have seen in the documentation and here under the headers i'm passing my shopify access token which we have already defined here and this token is coming from my env file so basically we are just making a simple fetch request here but as of now we are not sure which url sh we should be fetching from shopify so that's the basic fetch request and from this fetch request we are going to be receiving a data and here at the bottom i'm just going to console log my data and here at the top i have to define a url because i have not defined a url that i'm going to fetch to define this url we have to go back to shopify api documentation which i still have open in my browser so here in the browser we already have a shopify api documentation and so in this api documentation we are going to be retrieving a list of products which means we i'm going to be calling this endpoint so let's go to this endpoint and here we can see that that's the url we are going to be calling so i'm just going to copy that url go back to my application so here in the url i'm just going to put that url here but this is not a complete url that we are going to call to complete this url let's go back to the browser again and here i have my shopify store open here if i visit my store that's the url of my store as of now there is no domain assigned to it so that's the https url of my shopify store so i'm just going to copy that go back to my application and here i'm just going to complete my url so that's my store url and that's the api endpoint i'm going to be calling from shopify api documentation so this has completed our url so we are making a fetch request to this url we are passing the access token here and we are receiving the data and we are console logging the data so that's a very simple function and here at the bottom we are calling this function so let's save all this and we can see that we are receiving some data from shopify here in the terminal so i'm just going to expand the terminal and we can see that i'm receiving a big list of products here so every product is having different kind of information like there is a product id title and there is a description in the html format and we have images options variants in our javascript application so guys that's how we can fetch the list of products from shopify in our javascript or node.js application if you have any queries on that leave me in the comments there will be many more interesting videos on shopify api in this playlist leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one